Hello and welcome to Food Tech 101. Today I'm going to make a simple, tasty dessert. Well, I say simple, it's kind of a few ingredients and the process seems quite, quite simple, but there are elements to this particular dish which are, which are a little bit tricky. I'm going to make a banana tart to tan. Let's get to it. To begin with, let me talk you through the ingredients. We're going to be using one pack of pre-rolled puff pastry, about 100 grams of soft brown sugar, 50 grams of butter, in this case I'm using a vegan butter, Vita Light. I'm using a few drops of vanilla essence, about a spoonful of cinnamon, and three ripe bananas. Now step one, I want to prepare all the, all the ingredients that are going to go into our tart to tan first because the two elements of making a tart to tan really is you've got your preparation of your fruits, your cutting out of your pastry, for this we're using puff pastry, then you've got uh, the toffee part you're making which we do on a stove and that, that's a tricky part, that's kind of very time sensitive so rather than get that going and then and then you've got on the fire to cook, you'll see what I mean, uh, I'm going to cut all and prepare all the other ingredients first uh, and then I can concentrate totally on making the toffee part, which if left too long can very quickly and very easily go wrong. So to begin with, I'm just going to peel the bananas, obviously. And then all I'm going to do, now these particular bananas are very ripe. You don't need to use bananas this ripe for a tart to tan. They just happen to be what I had. If, if they became any more ripe, or if I'd left them any longer, I'd have to maybe Instead of making a tart to tan, I'd have to swerve and make maybe um, a banana cake or banana bread. And there's a recipe for that on our channel because that works well with overripe bananas. But I'm going to stick with a tart to tan for this one because I had a, had a mind to make one for a while. Okay, we've got our bananas. I'm going to cut each one in half. Now, depending on what you're going to actually bake it in, you don't necessarily have to do this, but because I'm ultimately going to lay mine out in a pan and bake the whole thing in the oven, um, aesthetically wise, I think I think these will make a little nicer if I cut them in half so I can fan them all around. You'll see what I mean. Okay, so we have our bananas all chopped and, and, and halved. Now the next thing, I want to measure out uh, the puff pastry. Now a tart to tan, we cook off our uh, sugar and our butter in here to make the toffee part, but then the pastry goes on top over this area here and the whole thing goes in the oven. So I want to make sure the pastry is at least bigger than this area. So I'm going to get a pastry now and measure out the pastry so it's a little bit bigger than the actual pan I'm using. Okay, so I've got my puff pastry, and because I'm using pre-rolled puff pastry, it's quite narrow when it comes out. So I've just rolled it out, so it's a little bit, uh, it's a little bit uh, more of a towards more of a square than a rectangle. And essentially, it needs to be bigger than the circumference of our frying pan, which is just about is. So I'm going to cut around this now, leaving a bit of an edge of about two inches all the way around there we have our shape. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this up now and put it to one side. Okay, now we're on for the toffee making part of our tart to tan. Our tart to tan in essence is like, it's caramelized sugar, which makes sort of like a toffee in and into which we put our fruit. Now in this particular one, we're using banana, but you could also use apple. Uh, so to make the toffee part, that's the part that can be simple, but tricky at the same time. So in here, I've got 150 grams of soft brown sugar. You could use white, but I really like the taste of soft brown sugar. Into that, I'm going to put about 50 grams of butter, or in this case, I'm using Vitalite. Into that, I'm going to put some cinnamon, about a spoonful. And into that, I'm going to put some vanilla essence. Right, and all we've got to do now is heat this up until the sugar 
starts to melt and the butter melts and it slowly caramelizes. As you can see, it's starting to soften. Just keep moving it around a little bit. And I turn the heat down now, so you can see that process. Keep moving it around. Already it smells delicious. Now it's important to bear in mind, sugar heats to a much higher temperature than water. So it's important that if you're doing this by yourself, uh, make sure you have an adult present. If you are an, are an adult, make sure children aren't around. Because in particular, what you don't want is them to be dipping their fingers into, into a nice toffee, because that would potentially scar for life, both mentally and physically. This has thickened up nicely, not too far off here. In total, this takes about two or three minutes. Okay, after a few minutes, it's thickened, it's thickened up. I think now we're ready to take the heat off. Add our banana, and let's make this into a tart to tan. So we have a banana laid out. And the final part now is to simply place our pastry on top. So I'm going to place the pastry over the top. I'm just going to tuck it in. Just tuck it in. Just like that. Don't get too particular. And then with this, once you've done that, put a couple of holes, stop it rising too much. And then into the oven for about 30, 40, 40 minutes until it's nicely puffed up. Okay, it's been about 40 minutes. I'm going to take our tart to tan out of the oven. Now, I'm using a pan, so the handle's going to be boiling hot. So, there we go. So that's what it looks like straight away. Now, the important thing, ow, this thing's hot, is we've got to flip this thing straight away. So we've got to turn this over straight away. If we don't turn it over straight away, then uh, all the sugar that's caramelized underneath will stick to the, to the pan like cement and it will never come off. So let's just slightly reposition ourselves and have a go at seeing if we can flip this over. Okay, to flip it, I've got a disc that's a little bit bigger than the frying pan itself, that's important. Now you've got to do this in one action. If you hesitate part way through, all that caramel will, will end up dribbling all, all over you and that's going to burn you bad. So we've got to try and go in one. Okay, ready? One, two, three. All right, let's see what we've got underneath. Ah. Not bad. It's kind of repositioned itself a little bit. So let's slide some of our banana back where it's supposed to be. There we go. So while this is piping hot, we can do a little bit of that moving around. But once it sets, that's it. So, woo! And there we have it. Am I going to be tempted to lick this? 
like this. Mmm. Mmm, that is delicious. Okay, now I've just tasted some of the, some of that. Oh, move it back so you can see it. Now I've just tasted some of that sauce. It's cool, it's absolutely delicious. It's like a, a rich banana flavor toffee. So what you have to do now is allow this to cool. As it will cool, all that toffee will actually set. And there we have it, our banana tart to tan. Absolutely delicious. Now I haven't cut this open to, to taste because I want to take it to a special occasion tomorrow. But I tasted some of the bananas and toffee sauce. That is absolutely delicious. If you like banana, you like toffee, just imagine combining them both and you've got an absolutely gorgeous tasting dish. And so it's just come out of the oven, so it still needs to set. You can see that the, uh, the toffee is slowing down as it's cooling down. Still a little bit of movement on there. But that will set just perfectly. And then what I might do at the very end is just dust lightly once it's cool with a bit of icing sugar. And then we have an absolutely perfect dish ready to present. And there we have it, our banana tart to tan. Now it's just setting right now, so it's you can still see the toffee moving around a little bit, but I taste it. I haven't cut it open because I want to take it somewhere um, as a contribution tomorrow. I think I'm going to take it to church. So I've not cut it yet, but I tasted some of the banana sauce and it's absolutely delicious. We like banana, we like toffee, a nice sweet banana toffee sauce, absolutely delicious. So I would imagine once it all sets, it's going gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna to taste really, really good. Now presentation wise, all I do to finish it off is once it's fully set, I might dust it a little bit of icing sugar, and then it's done. Uh, what I also might do is make a little box for it, like a little presentation box that always makes something like this look a, uh, look a bit fancy pants. So I might do that, make a little presentation box. But apart from that, I think uh, that's come out really, really well. Now I know you can also make these in a rectangular shape, but somehow having it coming out as a cylinder, uh, cylinder, ha having these, having it come out in a circle or using our frying pan to bake in, I think that's worked really well because, because the shape, a nice round shape works well, like a pie, and you can slice it up. So I think that's been extremely successful. Do you know what? It might not make it to tomorrow. I might, um, I might have to have a go at that later on today. And there we have it, banana tart to tan. Once again, thanks for joining us at Food Tech 101. Food Tech 101 is now available on Facebook and Instagram. I need to get a little bit more active with my Instagram account. I've been a bit busy, so I need to, for 2019, I need to get onto that a little bit more. Uh, Food Tech 101 is also available via email at admin at foodtech101.co.uk. So if you are interested in sponsoring the show or anything like that, you can contact me through there. As always, my name is Mr. Lybird, but you, you can call me sir. Of things we know.